Hello, this is a screencast on how to solve addition problems by using a written algorithm. Now, a written algorithm, this word here, is um, when we um, take a, an addition problem, what we can do is just check if we're going to be focusing on addition, and we turn it into, um, reformat the question so that we can um, edit more easily. Um, and I'll give you an example of an algorithm here. So let's imagine we had the question 643 plus 464. Now turning this into a written algorithm would turn it into this. 643 plus 463. And then we would solve this. This is what's called an algorithm. And we're going to be learning how to do these now. Let's take a look. Now this in front of you, or if you imagine, is your the squares of your in your maths book. The grid that you use to um, solve problems. This grid can be very useful when we have a question. Because it can help us align all the numbers based on their place value. So let's take an example of a question. Let's say we had the question, number one. 43 plus 36. So if we were going to do this as an algorithm, we would turn it to look like this. 43 plus 36. And we would rule a line underneath here. Now, notice the way I've put the question so that the 1s are in a nice column together and so are the 10s. That's a very important thing to do. Otherwise, a written algorithm won't work. And then we simply go 3 plus 6, which is 9, and 4 plus 3, which is 7. So the answer is 79. If we take another question, so let's take the, another question here. Let's imagine it's 463 plus 321. Again, I would need to use my squares, and I'm actually going to do this problem up here. So again, if I use just using my squares, I go 463. So that means underneath, I need to put the 3, because it's three hundreds, two tens, one, add the plus there, line here, and then I simply go 3 plus 1 is 4, 6 plus 2 is 8, 4 plus 3 is 7, so the answer is 784. Easy. Those type of questions are nice and easy. Key thing to remember is that we keep the place value in the same column. Same here as well. Keep them in the same. So the ones are here, the tens are here, the hundreds. If there was in thousands, we've got thousands and tens. Very important. We can't put ones here and then put the next number to the tens down here. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Now, there's one more thing we need to learn before that before you can go off and do your practice questions. What happens if we have a question here where rather than having 3 plus 6 which is 9, let's say it was 5 plus 6 and it was 11. Because you can't write 11 there. Wouldn't work. So that's what we're going to learn how to do next. Let's imagine we had this question. 439 plus 4. 126. Now, 9 plus 6 is 15. So what we do in this case here is we put the 5 down here, and the reason we put down there is because it's 5 ones. But we carry the 10 of the 15 over to here. We just put it up the top there, and what we do is we go 3 plus 2 is 5, and then we add that extra 1 there to give us 6. And then we go 4 plus 1 makes 5. So let's just go back over that again. What I did was I went 9 plus 6, which is 15. I wrote the 5 down here, but I moved that 10 over to here. Then I went 3 plus 2 plus 1. From that 1 from there, which makes 6. Then 4 plus 1, which makes 5. Let's take another example. Here's one other one. So 
688 plus 424. So let's do that problem together. 8 plus 2, 8 plus 4 is 12. We write the 2 down here and we carry the 1. Then we go 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Put 1 down here, the 1, 1, and carry the, the, carry the 1 over. Then we have 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 is 11. And we can't carry the 1 everywhere, so we just write down the whole digit. So this time, it's 1,112. So let's recap on that question. We went 8 plus 4 is 12, so we put the 2 down here, carried the 1 up to here. Then we went 8 plus 2 makes 10, plus the 1 that we carried over makes 11. We wrote down 1, 1 here, and carried the other 1 here. Then we went 6 plus 4 is 10, plus the 1 makes 11, and because we can't carry it over anywhere over here, because there's no thousands, we went, we wrote down 11. So we've got 1,112. Let's look at another question, and let's take it, and let's really take this to the next level. Let's imagine we had this number. Okay, this question reads as 84,314 plus 23,907. So it's quite a big problem, but we use the same process. We've just got a few more numbers to add. So the first step, 4 plus 7 is 11. So we put 1 down here, and we carry the 1 over to here. Then we go 1 plus 0 is 1, plus the other 1 makes 2. Then we've got 3 plus 9 is 12. Carry the 1 over to here. Then we go 4 plus 3 is 7. Carry the um, Add the 1 makes 8. And 8 plus 2 is 10. And because we can't carry it over, that's where we put it. So the answer to this question is 108,221. So let's go back over how we did that. We went 4 plus 7 makes 11. Put 1 down here, carry the 1 over here. 1 plus 0 makes 1. Add the other 1 makes 2. 3 plus 9 is 12. We put the 2 down here and carried the 1 over here. Then we went 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8. We just wrote down 8 here. And then we went 8 plus 2 makes 10. And because there's no hundreds of thousands here, we just write down both digits. So nice and simple. So just remember these things. These things here, very important. Remember two. First one. Make sure place values. are in the same column. It's the very first thing that we need to remember to do. That Don't do that, you will get the answers wrong. The second thing is, add columns. If a column is greater a uh, total, I better put total here, is greater than 9, you just need to carry the 1 over to the next column. And if you do those things, that will help you. Those simple three steps, You will, that's your recipe for success. Good luck, and now try some practice problems.